Hey there, Melanie Diane Howe here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple webcams using StreamYard. Now, these multiple webcams are plugged into one device. So I'm using a PC. StreamYard works for Mac or PC, of course. And StreamYard, if you're not familiar, is a an application that you can use to go live on multiple platforms at the same time, one, one individually. You can share your screen. You can have guests. All kinds of really great things. Really great tool for creating engaging live videos. It certainly is my favorite tool to create live videos right now. So, but in this application, before... I always thought you kind of had to do a little workaround if you wanted to have a live broadcast with multiple cameras, either using a, a mixer of some sort or a different device where you would switch, but also there's a way you could invite yourself to the stream and join as a guest through the other device, either on a mobile phone or even in a different web browser. This was a very clunky process, but I recently discovered you don't have to do it that way. There's actually a much, much, much simpler way and a better way that you can have two cameras in your stream. So in this video, I show you exactly how to do it and I give you some reasons why you might wanna have multiple cameras in your live stream. So let's dive in. All right, so here we go. So this is the StreamYard dashboard. You StreamYard users, you are very familiar with this. So we're going to enter the broadcast studio. So I have a test uh, studio set up and going into a test group just in case I click live by accident, of course. So we're gonna actually join with our camera. So the first camera I'm gonna connect is my Logitech Brio camera. It's a camera I absolutely love. It's a great webcam, totally recommend it, uh, by the way. Uh, but it is a bit pricier for the, from a webcam standpoint. There are tons of other webcams. I also have a Logitech 920. You really can't go wrong with any of the Logitech webcams that are HD, at least 1080p, but this particular one is the Brio. It kind of polishes my appearance and I love the auto lighting and color features it has. So we're gonna join this live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and say Logitech Brio so we know which is which, and we're gonna join the broadcast. So it's gonna enter the broadcast studio. So here I am down here in what I like to call the green room or backstage. Uh, I've not been added to the stream yet, so I'll go ahead and add myself to the stream. Um, and so, it used to be that when I wanted to try to have a second camera or, a, you know, I would use the invitation link, as I mentioned, and you would go down here and you would invite yourself. So you would use this link. Uh, I would have to message it to myself or email it to myself. And then I would click on that link either in a, a different browser window uh, that I was, you know, I'd open an incognito window uh, in Chrome, or I would use my phone if I was, you know, doing it that way. and uh, you guys, it was a pain in the butt. It was a pain in the butt. And I always had audio issues and it was like just clunky, just clunky. It's the best word I can use to describe it. So, but I recently discovered you absolutely do not have to use the invitation link at all. You don't have to use that. So I'm going to show you now how simple and easy this is. I can't believe it's this simple. So all you have to do to join with another camera. So this would be like, if you have multiple webcams hooked into the same computer. So I'm using a PC. I have uh, more than one camera hooked in, plugged into my PC, okay? And so this would be you wanting to do that sort of thing. So you're just simply gonna open up another window and you're gonna go to StreamYard. If you can type it correctly. You're gonna go to StreamYard. You're gonna enter the same broadcast studio. And this time you're gonna join with your other camera. So I'm actually going to select a different camera. I am using a Canon. Uh, so I'm using the EOS Canon Utility Web App. It's awesome. It allows you to connect your Canon camera if it's compatible to your PC without using a capture card like the very popular Elgato Cam Link. If you download this app, which is free, then and your camera is compatible, then all you do is you're gonna select the EOS Webcam Utility app and it's gonna pull in your DSLR Canon camera as a webcam. So that's what we're doing here. And so we're gonna join this one. I'm gonna go ahead and rename myself to the Canon EOS M50, which is the camera that I am using. So we're gonna enter the broadcast studio. So now, <laughs> because I was previously joined in the other tab with my Brio, that's what you see, but as you can see here, you're viewing this particular stream from the Canon uh, EOS M50. So it's, you guys, it's crazy, it's crazy here. So 
Now, so if I go back to their tab, it's it's really not any different. You just have two places. So we're in, we keep this tab open. That's the key. You've got to keep the other tab open. So just go to your main tab, wherever you choose to control, and you're going to join the stream. So I'm going to add my other camera to the stream. So here are both cameras now. And as you know, if you're a StreamYard user, you can go solo view. So it's like you have get two guests on, but you can go solo view. So you can pick which uh, camera I like literally was like, wait, which one am I looking at? You can pick the angle you want to look at, and then you can switch to the other one and take a look there. Now you might want to do this for a couple of reasons. There are multiple reasons why you'd want to do this. One would be that you want to change the view. So maybe you always want to look in your predominant camera, but you just want to give your, your viewers a different look, a different view as they are you know, watching your stream. Using different camera angles is actually a way to con continue to add interest to your stream. The other thing is that you may want to use one of your webcams as a back, uh, like a behind the scenes cam. So as you can see here, this camera is showing you, you know, a little bit of a different angle. You see what's behind me a little bit more, whereas the other angle was more straight on and it showed the background uh, of my office and studio. So what's a couple reasons? One would be you want to do a demonstration. You again, it's a behind the scenes. Maybe I can take my camera off and give you guys a little tour, whatever it might be. But I love this idea for anyone who is wanting to address the audience, but also show how to do something. So I keep thinking like crafters, artists, uh, bakers, um, anybody who's work, doing something in the kitchen, anybody who's doing a demonstration with things with their hands, or maybe you want to get up and you want to uh, you want to address the audience, but then you want to get up and go over to a whiteboard. Well, you can point your other camera a totally different direction, or you know maybe you have it all set up where you've got two different angles and you're talking to the audience, but then you want to move over to like, I mean, heck, you could be like a softball coach showing kids how to like properly get into the batting stance and you want to use two different camera angles for this. So I love how easy this is. I love the simplicity of it. The other thing you might have is that you may have two subjects that are in the same room or the same place that you are uh, using, but you don't want to use the invitation link. You want to just go ahead and be able to kind of seamlessly control this. There's all, there's a million reasons why you might want to use two cameras. Uh, you can use as many cameras as the application will allow you, which is more than two. Um, so let your imagination wander, but it's literally that simple. And you know, you can pull them up, you can switch now, uh, which is great. You may wanna have one predominant view. So I, I visualize, you know, if somebody's doing the whole, um, you know, demonstration style, then I envision a big screen with your hands, but then maybe the little screen is you and your face so you might be looking down, it's just, but we can still see your face. So again, if I were to show you, it'd be like a bird's eye view, maybe me painting a picture, but maybe every once in a while I might wanna pause when I'm doing it and look at the camera and talk to you. And so you could do that in a couple ways. You could do it with this view, but you could also do it with this other view right here. I love it. I love this uh, whole concept. And of course, you can also add the whole sharing of your screen uh, to the mix as well. So ton of possibilities here with how you could use multiple cameras, but I just want to create a nice, easy, quick demonstration video. It's nice, easy, and quick because it's really that easy to do. So enjoy. And if you're not already a StreamYard user, you can totally check it out. It's a great application. Uh, you can definitely enroll through me if you'd like to get a $10 credit added to your account, which you could use if you decide to upgrade. But the free version gives you a lot of really great features, a lot of fun tools to create really engaging live broadcasts. So you can get that at melaniediane.com forward slash StreamYard, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.